Welcome to our lecture on textiles for interiors. Okay, in this lecture we're going to focus on fabrics and what we look for when it comes to interior uh, fabric selection and classifications and some basic vocabulary. So for classifications, we have main categories that are upholstery, draperies, wall hangings, and curtains. So we tend to really focus on function, but also the decorative element of uh, fabric. So we want, we really also want to look at texture and the color, the yarns used, the luster, because this plays in a very huge part in fabric selection for a clientele, for a customer. Now what this is included when it comes to upholstery, draperies, wall hangings, and curtains, this includes fabrics for chairs, benches, couches, um, seating, again, including benches, uh, sheets for bedding. Uh, this includes pillowcases, fitted sheets, regular sheets, comforters, blankets, pillows, uh, pillows that you would use for to sleep on, but also decorative pillows that you would, and throw pillows you would use on couches, tablecloths, curtains, um, and tapestries. Um, that hang on the wall. So all this goes under these classifications. We also have soft floor coverings. Um, what's included here is any material used for flooring. And this, I mean, the most common definitely is carpet, right? Wall to wall carpet. Um, and when we use the term carpet, that means wall to wall. So it's to cover most or the entire room. Rugs are for specific areas. So those rectangular pieces or those round pieces that you see, those are rugs. Those, not, those are not carpet. Carpet is wall to wall. Rugs are area pieces to cover the floor. And it also it covers any underlay materials used. Now for home textiles, um, you have to think about window and wall coverings as well. And uh, this includes ready-made draperies. Um, this also includes any slip covers. Um, for windows, wall coverings, um, like uh, there is a wallpaper that has made out of cloth. Um, also, you have to look at uh, things like awnings, um, in particular for commercial purposes. Those are for, um, uh, for windows and those are for the outside. Um, so think about uh, bedroom, any bedding, again, sheets, ruffles, uh, bed skirts, duvets, coordinating curtains. So like things like bed in a bag, so sometimes when you think bedroom, it will sometimes include also draperies because those bed in a bag sets will have um, some valance or you know some draperies to match with you know the bed set. So it can include that when you have those bed in a bag sets. Um, for bath, it includes towels, shower curtains, bath rugs, and mats. And for kitchen and tabletop, we're talking about kitchen towels, pot holders. Uh, tablecloths, napkins, placemats, table runners are very common, um, and decorative pillows and throws, furnishings, and daytime bed decoration um, is under the decorative. So um, you see a lot of coordination again with bedroom sets. So I always like to, if you're new to interiors, I always like to point people to like those coordinating sets for bedroom and bath because you see interesting patterns and colors and you see how all these different items coordinate uh, with each other. So that way you can see how they relate to each other and you can see how they make sometimes small and large prints, um, but they keep the same color foundations. Now two main categories are residential and commercial when it comes to interiors. So um, anything uh, residential is anything for the home and home decor, it's for private residents, for the average person, right? So for your home, apartment, studio, mobile home, etc. So that's residential. Um, so anyone, when it's some, uh, you know, an account that says anyone for residential purposes, that means anyone can pretty much buy it. Now when it says commercial, that's for businesses. That's for office buildings, hotels, airports, you know, public spaces, businesses, um, usually you need a corporate account, you need a wholesale account, a resale number. They don't sell to the public. It's also referred to as a contract. Okay, so that's the term we use. Um, more expensive than residential and more testing um, is required. And that's why the next section is on testing for quality and we're looking at fabric testing. Now areas that are key areas to test and that we look at, fire retardancy, color fastness to crocking and light, 
uh, physical properties and abrasion resistance. So this is really important for you to think about because the average person doesn't think about this. So how many times you throw yourself on the couch or on the seat, you have to think about the abuse you're giving your your furniture and your items. I mean, you really do. How in life? That's another one. Think about how much sun. You know, if it's something facing when the sun rises or when the sun sets, think of how much sun is being beaming down on your curtains. Or if you put a couch or a chair and you open the window and the sun hits it, guess what? It's going to fade because the sun's hitting it. So you have to think about things like this. Um, take that into consideration. Um, so. Um, and fire retardancy, absolutely, for safety. So um, the Association for Contract Textiles Performance Guidelines, and it gives you these little symbols. And um, these symbols are the particular area. So like fire retardancy, you see this little symbol. Color fastness to wet and dry crocking, so color rubbing off, whether wet or wide surface, uh, dry surfaces. Color fastness to light, uh, which would be you know fading from the sun. Uh, this star is for physical properties and A, the upper and lower case A is for abrasion resistance. So these are performance guidelines that we're looking at. So these are the symbols um, and this is used with contract fabric. So remember what I told you about contracts. That's for businesses, right? So that's for commercial, not residential. So this is for commercial fabrics. And when you see these symbols, they're telling you they're compliant with the ACT recommended standards, okay? So they meet the testing requirements, they, they, they pass the tests, so that's something to think about, okay? So you want to, if you buy commercial textiles for, for a business, you want to look for these symbols because you wanna make sure that they did pass the tests that are required.